So first and foremost, you're gonna wanna go to the App Store and download Cam Scanner. So all you need to do is type in Cam Scanner. It is a free app which you can download. It'll say Cam Scanner PDF Scanner app. So I already have it downloaded, but you would just tap the screen to download. Again, it's a free app. You should not pay anything for this app. Once you've downloaded the app, you can open the app. And if you need to submit multiple photos, what you can do is click on the screen where you see the camera. If you click there, you have the option to either do single photos or you can take photos in batch. And batch allows you to take multiple photos of multiple documents. So if you need to take the first one, you can do that like this. And then subsequently, what you can do is you can submit multiple pages as one PDF in the batch function. And now once I'm finished, I'm gonna click this screen where my pictures have gone, and I can re-put uh, the cropping in order to encompass the entirety of the photo that I'm interested in. So I want this whole one, so I'm gonna select all of it. And occasionally it will auto-select a, a portion of the document, and you can always adjust it to fit your needs. And then once you're finished with both, you click the check mark. The check mark will save it all as a single document. And as you can see, it even made it look a little nicer by changing the contrast. And then once I'm finished there, I can change the title of my document if you'd like, perhaps with your name. So I'm Dr. Rojas. Hit done. And then what you're gonna do is go to the share screen and go to PDF. So now all of this is gonna show up with a PDF. There is gonna be a watermark that says scan with cam scanner down at the bottom right. This is because you're using the free version of the app. And then from there, you just share and you can uh, save it in any way you want. So you can save it to your files, your pCloud, uh, Dropbox. You can airdrop it to a computer. You can also choose to share this via email. So once you have already uh, saved your document, what you can do now is go into your document and click email. And then from there, you can email as a PDF and send it wherever you'd like. So for me, I wanna send it to myself so that I can upload it to my classes. And then you're done.